sasa tunakumbuka mateso yako na pia kishido ambacho Bwana ulishida mauti na kusimu kwa kuheshimu sana kwa vile Bwana umefanya tukaoga tukaoganike jioni ya leo mahara hapa ili Bwana tukaweze kuinua jina lako kupitia sifa zetu kupitia kukuabudu na pia kuleta mahitaji yetu kwako ushirika mmoja na mwingine na haswa wakati huu Bwana wa kumega neno lako tunaomba ya kwako kama vile ambavyo limesema katika madhara ya tano mstari wa sita ya kwamba neni walio na kiu wana majeshi mara utawasibisha na tunaamini ya kwamba leo utatulisha utakuzibisha na Jehova Mungu wa Israeli kama mmoja wetu atatoka mahali hapa kama amebarikiwa na wewe tunachukabidhi mikono mwako chini ya mwongozo wa Roho Mtakatifu ili akashawishi kila mmoja wetu mapenzi yako utafsiria neno lako Bwana alifanya rahisi kuelewa ili Bwana tukajue mahusiano yako katika Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kuamini amen kama umekuja leo ubaki tu umesimama ukuja jana umekuja leo praise be to God Ah. Uh, the only cost you are going to pay ni kusimama asaidie Erika. That is the only cost you are going to pay. Praise be to God. Ah, <laughs> um, just a kuashira, kusimama tuisho au anajua wakisikia kwa Joseph kuashira wanajua ndio walikuwa hapa. So ni wewe na pia umesimama. I'm just a kuashira na nimetoka upande wa Iguru achiliko dali pale shabwa inaitwa Emmanuel kama hii yenu Shinyanga SK na shiriki huko chini ya mchukaji wangu Jennifer ambaye amenipatia baraka zake kuwa hapa pia familia yangu amenipatia baraka zao na jana tulikuwa na bisi leo nikamwambia kumzike nikute na yeye endelee na kazi yake kwa hivyo nashukuru kuwaona na kwamba umeongezeka na kwa hata kuna wengine wamekaa kwa huku wa hivyo lakini wakae kwa hiyo simama tu ipate ya chaka praise be to god so jana tulikuja tukasema kama ni wahumi praise be to god wahumi au wasimame tuwapigie makofi wamekuja leo kae mshukuru jana tulifika mahali hapa na tutakutangulia kusema ya kwamba tunajifunza vita ambazo tunafaa kupigana maana sio kila vita unafaa kupigana battles war fighting na jana nikaweka tu msingi sikuuza hata neno moja pale lakini niweka msingi na nikasema kuzuri letu kupigana ni kwa sababu Mungu katika Exodus chapter 3 verse 8 aliahidi wana wa Israeli nchi ya Bondi pana ikinatirika maziwa na asali nikasema tukasema asali ni vita na niposa Daudi akashukuru Mungu katika Samuel 44 verse 1 akasema Mungu na atukuzwe ambaye amefuzwa mikono yangu kupigana na tukasema katika madhara moja kumi na mbili ya kwamba tangu wakati wa Yohana mpaka leo wa ufalme wa Mungu ni wa kuangania na wanaoangania wanajinyakulia na tukasema ya kwamba inabidi tupigane ili tukaweze namba one kuikua kuweka Mungu kwenye enzi maana maombi ni mambo mengi sana ingetoka kukua katika enzi kutawala maisha yetu na ndio tunasamaka sisi tuokoka ya kwamba Yesu ni bwana tunamweka pale akakuwe bwana akatawale si kila mtu na si kila kitu inafaa kutawala maisha yako hata shetani angetaka kutawala magonjwa yangetaka kutawala umaskini ukataka kutawala shida zikataka kutawala utajiri na pesa na masomo na sifa zako zikataka kutawala but we fight to the Lord God hiyo tukaipata second Corinthians 10 and verse 5 kisha tukasema tunapigana ili tukaweze kudumisha imani yetu to keep our faith na tukasema ya kwamba hatujapigana vita mpaka kumwaga damu hiyo ni Hebrews 12 and verse 4 mpaka ukamwaga damu ukipigania imani yako ukikataa na vile dunia inataka na tukasema na we fight so that we can possess tunapigana ili tukaweza kumiliki kwa hiyo tukasoma kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torah ni Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 24 apo ilitoa ya kwamba tumeenda wapatia nchi ijieni mpigane na wao so we fight to possess tukauliza tunapigana na uh, na nini tunasema tunapigana na shetani second corinthians 10 and verse 4 zile maroho na ngome za kishetani hizo tunamenyana nazo na tunasema tunapigana na dunia james 44 maana petekeneza urafiki na dunia 
huyu atafanya uadui na Mungu na tukasema tunapigana na mwili hiyo tukaipata katika kitabu cha Roma chapter 7 verse 23 and verse 4 and verse 15 and verse 8 ya kwamba mwili haitakao wa ufalme mwili na damu hazitakao wa ufalme na hiyo sheria ya mwili inashindwa ukipigana vita na tukasoma second samuel 31 ambayo itawapia kutirisha mtu wako wa ndani ambaye ni Daudi anaushinda mtu wa juu ambaye ni Sauli kwa hivyo tukasoma hiyo na tukasema huwezi pigana mikono kule ukienda kwa mzika wa yuki unahitaji kujihami vizuri you need salvation the helmet ukue na salvation ukue na righteousness ambayo ni haki ya Mungu ukue na gawa ya imani ukue na belt of truth mshipi wa ukweli ukue na maombi ambayo ni spiritual prayers alafu tukasema ya kwamba ukue na viatu za za um, um, amani ya kwamba uweze kusambaza amani maana bila amani hauwezi uwezi hata eh, kufanikiwa na tukasema pia neno la Mungu ambalo ni kama nyundo kwa hiyo jioni ya leo nataka tuende direct kwa hiyo masomo tulisomoa tena tukuse tu moja ili nikaweza kufundisha leo battles world fighting na najua ya kwamba tutabarikiwa kesho we have a special teaching for very few minutes and then we pray praise be to god Amen. kesho ni tunafundisha kidogo sana ili kutucharge ili tukaweza kuja katika madhabahu tukaweza kuomba na wakati watu wanasikia deliverance wanafikia watu wa kushwa kupiga duru deliverance i told you deliverance inafanyika ukijua ukweli you shall know the truth the truth will set you free praise be to god kama utapata ukombozi jana na leo na mafundisho ya kesho hakuna mujiza itafanyika kwa madhabahu praise be to god we are coming here to confirm na tafuta kujikrea kwa imani ya kwamba yale ambayo Mungu ametukuokoa akitoa ujika na kutojua akatuweka ufahamu na ujuzi na kuelewa tutakuwa washidi praise be to god kwa hiyo tupatie judges ilikuwa somo yetu ya jana judges chapter 11 from verse 1 we, we are going to do only verse 1 and 2 i think judges chapter 11 verse 1 and 2 he talks about the man called Jephthah ni vile nasema ya kwamba Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty warrior nataka uangalie neno kwa neno he was a mighty warrior and he did that god maana biblia inaanza na the positive inaanza na the positive kuna mbili moja pia anajulikana hii kenya sita mtaja siku moja alikwambia kabla ya kuoa na leo mtu ambaye tunampenda sana sasa hii ni nikitaja tu yule mtu mtampenda maana kila mtu anampenda no one is just a singer and she's a preacher na mtu ambaye anapenda Kenya hii kwa hivyo huyo mwanake kabla acha kuoa ndio tumeanza kufanya guest work sasa ndio nimekuambia aya wewe mtu tafikiria wewe wakati yule mwanake hapo amekuoa alikuwa na saa chini ya mtu gani mwingine so wakaenda na yeye mahali kama alikuwa kwa market kama alikuwa chati nyingine ama alikuwa mtu gani mwingine wakienda alikuwa anasema huyu anaitwa so and so na hajaoa wakienda mahali huyu anaitwa so and so na hajaoa siku moja akamwambia mtu gani sikatai wewe ni mkubwa wako lakini wacha nikukosoe si usemake tu angalau kitu moja niko nayo kuliko kuagiaga tu ile kitu sina na kuna watu wapo hivyo ni rafiki wako lakini ukimuuliza eh najua na choice anapoanguliza yule anashitaka na shota moja yule ako na mdogo yule anachonyesha haka yani na rafiki wako lakini definition hakuna kitu moja anasema mzuri lakini Mungu anaintroduce Jeff na vizuri sana. Anasema ya kwamba ile unanitaoponyesha ile tu hapa. Jeff na Biblia inasema ya kwamba he was a mighty warrior. His father was Gilead. Gilead ni watu walijuikana ni wale walikuwa nauza dawa katika zile enzi. The Gileadites ni walikuwa nauza the bomb. Do you know that? Do you know that? Ni wao walikuwa nauza hebu tupatie Jeremiah 8:22. We are here to run the word of God. I want to finish up Jeremiah 8:22. What a day we are in. Ah, you are in Noah Joseph. Wakati alimekuwa kwa shimo. Is there no bar in Gilead? Kwani hakuna dawa Gilead? Kwani hakuna madaktari Gilead? Kwani watu wangu hawaponi? Gilead walikuwa matajiri kama vile unajua saa hii dawa ni pesa ni pesa nyingi sana. Mtu ambaye anaweza ku stop chemist yake jua huyo ni mtu tajiri kama serikali inashitwa kuweka dawa kwa hospitali. Nao Gilead hapo watu watajiri sana. Maana walikuwa na hii miti, miti shaba, walikuwa na hizo dawa. 
You may not have come from a rich family, but a rich family can come from you. Amen. Yes. 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 Yes.
inaitwa dhambi dhambi if you read uh, it should be Isaiah Psalm 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 66 18 Psalm 66:18 Ndio nasema ya kwamba If I had cherished sin in my heart the Lord would not have listened Na kuna watu ambao wanakwama na hiyo guilt conscious kwa sababu ndani yao kuna dhambi ambayo walifanya na hii dhambi imeweka misingi ndani yao ya kwamba kuna kitu inafaulu katika maisha yao maana kuna background ya dhambi kuna dhambi inakunenea kila wakati kuna dhambi inakukumbusha kitu ambacho ulifanya and the devil is so tactic the devil always reminds you wakati nasikia kama umejazimwa hiyo ama kuvuka ugeiwa kuvuka ugeiwa kuvuka kuvuka ile ndio ilikuwa kuvuka you know, i always tell people when the devil reminds you of your past remind him of his future kujua ya kwamba hebrews 10:22 this is what the bible says about that foundation of sin hebrews 10:22 and the one again a more in the 22 the bible says in the 22 let us draw near to god with sincere heart in the full assurance that faith brings having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience that we are said to sit at god's way sit at god's way and having our bodies washed with pure water amen second corinthians 71 second corinthians 71 tunaokea kwa sababu hiyo msingi mitatu ili tukaingie kwa hiyo tunaweza deal na hiyo background therefore since you have these promises dear friends let us purify ourselves from everything that can contaminate body and spirit perfecting holiness out of reverence for god ya kwamba tuka tukaondoke chochote ambacho kina kina tunajisi katika mili yetu na roho zetu ili tukaweze kupa ama kutungangania ama kufikia utakatifu tukimwogopa Mungu. Kwa hivyo deal with those. Usikubali kila siku shetani anakunomenea, anakunomeneza kwa masikio wewe mwenye dhambi ulifanya hivi, ulifanya hivi, unaweza kumua hiyo. Hiyo that is the fight war fighting. Ya kwamba vita ya kutubu dhambi, vita ya kukataa na kwaje mbatu ya mwisho tafadhali. Acts 3:19. Acts 3:19 ili kesho tukikuja kuomba this are the things you are doing that background kuna kitu ulifanya dhambi na njoo Mungu analipisha kai ama shetani anakuambia ukiwa sahi hata uombe hata uende hiyo salama mmm ukiwa na hiyo na wewe unamwambia kuna Mungu ambaye ametokea na bend them and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out that times of refreshing may come for the Lord there is hope in God mwenye dhambi aina gani kuna suluhisho kwa Mungu na tutaona hiyo kesha kwa Mungu atusamee unachofikiria ni msingi wa shida zako ni msingi wa yale mambo unapitia unafikiria inaweza kuwa ni shida ni mwambuko uliyanguka pale mbele ama ni dhambi ya kutoka kwenu hizo mtu zote those are the battles war fighting na si kwa hizi bado tu kuanzia leo ujue tutakuwa tukipigana na hizi misingi tatu praise to god this is how now we fight Number one, learn from your past. Learn from your past and forget it. Learn from your past and forget it. Kila kitu ambacho Mungu alikupitishia when you are dealing with your background, kila Mungu alikupitishia, alikupitishia ili ukasome jambo. And you are not supposed to dwell in the past. You are supposed to deal with the past. Hiyo ni kisu mwingine. Don't dwell in the past but but deal with the past. Usibaki pale mambo ya jana lakini menyana na hiyo hali ya jana usome kutoka kwake na uendelee na ujisamee mambo ya kale. Isaiah 43:18 Isaiah 43:18 the Bible says Isaiah 43:18 forget the former things now I love this I like I like this part. Do not dwell on the past. Kuna watu na shida kwa hivyo. Eh ikawa kwale kuna siku nilikuwa na mimi na wika huku. 
kama ukiona nyumba yangu na jamani dia pia nilikuwa natuka kubwa ya mali mali lakini kaoa mkaba nikamwambia wafuate simu usikaba wewe ujiokoka haki yako anasema kile kile mkaba hiyo kesha na hapo inisha sasa wewe ndio unajua kwa jamani kosea na utashinda hapo jiunduka ili abuka hapana shiko utatasa unashika story ya kuda ilizikwa kuda ilizikwa tu mwenyewe amechoka na imezeeka akaizika ikiwa hai wakati ulikuwa na weka kijiko wakati kijiko ya mchanga inashake wakati kijiko inashake bali inapokea tu haibu sikwa kwa nini wewe unakubali kusikwa forget the former things and do not dwell on the past number two, work on your potential to deal with the background work on your potential ndio tunaadua kwamba jeda was a mighty warrior can you maximize on your potential maximize on what you have rudia mera kila mena kio tika kuona kio tare na nikio bati mayo onoko rodani na maido niani na kadua au ni ya kadua kuya maido ai ai kati this but mayo nitumia kidogo kupata macho use your potential kuna kitu mungu aliweka ndani yako hauko kule kuna kitu mungu aliweka ndani yako ibadilisha maisha yako yawezekana kwenu wa mungu wa wazuri yawezekana background si nzuri lakini mungu aliweka potential ju potential ita aitabui tajiri aitabui masikini inawekwa ndani ya kila mtu leo kuna watu wamebadilisha hali zao kwa sababu ya kile mungu ameweka ndani yao pengine ni kitu ya kushika masomo pengine ni mahubiri kama yao mimi sijali ajiwa na sasa hivi baba yangu inaelekea 2 million no mbaba wangu anauliza karibu karibu wale kwa luta karola hii binadamu nani anawaambia shukani ya ndani yangu praise be to god kwa sababu kuna mungu ambaye anapeana kuna mungu ambaye ameweka kitu ndani yako inakupatia mpaka kukubalika mpaka fever kibali God has put something in you. You are not empty. There is something in you. Maybe mtoto yako ni ya food. Wewe ni food wa bale na unaweza kufanya hiyo potential. Maybe wewe ni wa kwaya na hiyo sini peke yake inaweza kupeleka bale. Mungu alikupatia tu sauti. Hapo akaje mfuko na masomo yako alikupatia sauti. Sauti ukisimama hiyo mtu anasema niitie huyo msichana. Niitie huyo mama. Niitie huyo mzee. Those skills Mungu anapeanaga unapata mtu anaweza bale. Second Corinthians 4:7 Second Corinthians 4:7 We are talking about the potential what God has put in you. The Bible says but we have this treasure in the jars of clay to show that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. Kila mtu uko na kitu ndani yako in the weakness because jars of clay they represent your weakness this flesh katika unyonge wako kuna kitu huko ameka ndani yako na ni kwa mara ya yake kile kile mwana Nazareth ni ndio lakini kuna kitu kilichomoka kwa hivyo kuna potential kuna kitu Mungu ameweka ndani yako na badili finally to deal with the, with the background ni kitu inaitwa a price there is a price to pay kuna gharama ambayo mtu analipa if you read uh, genesis tupatie 45 verse 4 45 was what I want to remind you 45 was for it is about Joseph wow hebu akajia hii Joseph akawa akaambia ndugu zake kujeni karibu nami wakati walikukaribia akawaambia ni mimi ndugu yenu ambaye mliuza misi kutoka kwa hiyo background very hapo wamempata saa hii akawa prime minister kuna gharama alipitia kuna gharama na kuzuri jua kuna gharama tunalipanga ili tuache background zetu ili tusikue kama watu wa kwetu kuna background kuna gharama tunalipanga ili tuache mambo ya jana na majuto ya jana na mwanguko wa jana na dhambi za jana na bloodline kuna gharama ambayo tunalipa Joseph alipa gharama ya kwanza alikuwa tunaelewa pit aliweka kwa pit kwa shimo ilikuwa gharama ya kwanza pit kutoka kwa pit alienda kwa pingine na kwa potifa akaroka kwa potifa hii pit walisema amekufa wakachukua nguo eh, yake wakaimwagilia kambi ya kodo wakaenda kudanganya mabaki akakomboa hiyo wakamzia those here guys wakapeleka kwa potifa potifa naye bibi yake akachukua koti 
Watu zangu wamechukua koti wakaweka damu. Na yeye amechukua koti akaifanya testimony. Akaifanya evidence. Huyu kijana alikuwa anakula na mimi. Akaweka prison. Prison akabadilishwa nguo ya kugu, nguo ya prisoners ya barabusu. Akiwa huko atakafsiri mtoto, maana Mungu ameweka potential ndani yako and then you can pay the price. Mambo inakuwa finally alipelekwa Paris. So from pit, Potiphar, prison to Paris. Kuna gharama mtu analipata. Na kuanzia leo uambie Mungu, ningetaka kulipa gharama. Ningetaka kulipa gharama ili nipigane vita ambayo ni ya maana. Wacha watu wa kwenu waseme sijui nini, lakini wewe unajua ni gharama ulilipa. Ukiwa hii Nairobi, bila naoka mapema, wewe na huko kusha rusa tano. Na nakwambia tu mimi ni eti. Ni tu mimi ni eti. Atibu yako ya Nairobi na mataka kazo. Wewe unapotia credit za tano, lakini wewe unapata six, six ni kwa Nairobi. Kwa sababu you pay the price, nothing comes easily. We must pay Imagine all those days I'm busy. So you can imagine you pay a price to be where you are. Another battle worth fighting to go on. For an 18 minutes, for an 8 minutes. I don't know about the 620. You can go to the bank to put the cash on. Another battle worth fighting. It is battle of identity. Battle of identity. Not a new appeal. In our generation, there is a problem. To in a little, I will give a letter for many, and I give a letter for many, no matter the women. What an attack of Jimicana, where you are attack of Jua Sana, Rakina Mataki, Ujijua. Some are fighting for information. Narina Baka Talibani, Sibus in the Jap password. No. Kuna mafuti walikuwa na njegea, wajua sasa ni weji, kuna mahaji, kuna stima, kwa hivyo kwa 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 Aka pili, aka pili ya nyewe na inaka, ya kukukwe na kukuka tu, kizima inazima, ainaka, ikuwa tu hivyo. Sasa asina kitu ya kuficha ya nyewe. Siku moja, nilibemba, nilibemba maimamu kutoka hospitali, tukenda kwa petro station, kwa ya tihoni, kuna, 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 rubis. So, kukwenda kwa mafuta hako, mimi kaikia osho, nikapia kwa 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 kijaa, ulipe, kukatukua simi yangu, akalipa, tukafika nibani kupereka mamu. Bibi yako kaya kicha ni kukika, mama wako nisi kwa mwaka. 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 Nika wakia sasa kama ni mpatia mwili yake, pindi yota mwima, na kwa nini. Kwa nisi kukwa. Chapter, 
25 minutes, Acts chapter 19, verse 15. Act 19, 15. Tell me, Prophet Kirat is trying to break someone like this. Act 19, 15. I must keep it in my paper, he reads a seven sons of Skeba. Seven sons of Skeba were born for the public. Man, when you go at Saba, now when you go at Toto, a priest, a, a, a high priest of that type of Skeba. Now, keep all the hair there, oh, Gigi. How are you doing today? This is the battle you need to fight to understand who you are. I must keep it in my paper, you are Yes, you know, you are. Paolo, you know, you are. You are in line. In this life, some gates are going to open at the mention of your identity. Wakati kuna milima itaodoka, kuna eshima utapatiwa, kuna mafanikio utapata, wakati utajielewa wewe ni nani. Na kwa nabia kaka walevi, walevi wa mwepuliza. Mwepuliza mwepuliza mwepuliza. Can you fight for your name? Amen. Kuna majina ya zatajwa 
Usikie hapa unakunasikia mtu anaambia kama mnatembea kana huyu. Mbona hataki kazi upate. Jina tu. Ama sasa kuna driver mzuri na jua driver mzuri. Sema nani? George. George. Eh George. Wacha. Jina tu ile ndika. Jina ile ndika. Si Mungu akusaidie to fight for your identity. Watu wanakujua aje. Mungu anakujua aje. Kanisa unajulikana aje. What is your identity? Your name. Pigania hiyo jina. Hiyo jina watu wanaikulia. Jina unaikulia kuliko jasho. Hiyo jina hiyo. Ndio kwa hiyo yale ugirazi hiyo. Jina tu peke yake inaweza kupeleka mahali sana. Praise to God. Saida na kamtu anaitwa Brian Shira ni jina. Jina inamaana watu watoe pesa inamaana magari si watane kama ni mfalme. Jina. Jina yake ni sababu ya mtoto. Na wewe Mungu akupatie jina. Jina mzuri. Praise to God. The other thing about the identity it is your need. Your need. You know why do you need a jiki kwa nini? Why do people need you? Why do people how I you know can people require you? What do you want to achieve? You know this one. Daniel 5:11. Now I'm going to give you a bit of it. If your presence if your act of good faith if your access was never felt then your presence was never needed. You know the name that. Kama kutokuwa kwako hakuna mtu aitagua. Ama kukuwa kwako hakuwa kwa maana. Kama saa hii kuna watu 
na tumaka mahali nikiitisha mtu nikopize na samaka fulani yeye huko maana nimeungawia roho yangu nimeweza kumlea katika hali ya kiroho hata mimi nilelewa so i'm bro i'm fighting the battle of identity hata wakati sasa kwa naweza kutembea kuna wengine watatembea na moto ule nilikuwa nao na 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 Nigeria kama ile nilikuwa nayo because i'm working on my identity akijina yako itabaki milele kama sasa kuna watu wanaitwa kina kanyoto kanyoto aisha kitabu lakini ukipita bara la hii lazimisha bayote ya kanyoto the dawa lazimisha bayote ya kanyoto sasa kwa hiyo alitengeneza jina kupitia utajiri wake sasa hivi tunasemaka madarasa sikuria alikuwa na jina alitengeneza jina aitete na hiyo jina inasafuliwa na watoto vizazi na vizazi lengo ya kule nika lengo ni moto kaweka wewe kwa watu toleka what for my identity praise to god number three, fight for your destiny kukubalisha tu nimalizie hapo tumebakia dakika tatu kesi sati nimepitisha but i have to complete this indication to put in a special thing ya kumalizia fight for your destiny fight for your destiny piramia kesho yako umepigana na background umepigana na who you are you know where you came from is the background umepigana na identity who you are sasa pigana vita ingine ya kesho yako destiny Isaiah 46:10 and 11 Isaiah 46:10 after you have to take the text Isaiah 46:10 look at this I make known the end from the beginning from ancient times what they see to come huyu Mungu anasema ya kwamba naogea najirishana ama nafungua mwisho najirishana mwisho bila kuzakuwa kama bado nimeshika mwanzo god has your destiny can you fight for your destiny god has your destiny praise be to god mambo mata mama chache tu ya kupigania destiny yako number 1 have the picture have the picture onaka kesho yako ndio kimona la nje mwetangi ona kwa hiyo pia mambo ya mahali maishi mwetangi gaidi kwa ni mambo ya maishi gaidi waya kimanago kwa maji wa gaidi kuruse kwa kila gaidi kwa gaidi ni mambo ya maishi kwa maji ona pali hiyo pia kwa sumuni ona kwa mimi praise to god ona bele the bible says to should be it should be uh free pass green i want to put here for tea to one free pass green for tea free pass green for tea open a picture everyone i press on to us the god to win the prize for which god has called me heavenward in christ jesus to win the god to win the prize kuna kitu anaona kapare be hebrews 12 verse 2 hebrews 12 verse 2 This is what the Bible says here for coding. This is what the Bible says in Hebrews 12 and verse 2. Fixing our eyes on Jesus the pioneer the perfecter of our faith for the joy set before him. Ile furaha ilikuwa pale pale hiyo ilikuwa picha yake. Alikuwa anaona picha kama vile picha ile mtego yenu unaiona inafanya muweke kwa hiyo destiny. So akawe katika maisha kuwa na picha where do you want to be five years to come? Where do you want to be next year? Where sikira kitu kama hiyo siku hizi miaka inakimbia hata wewe kimbia praise the lord fight for your destiny because of the joy set before him he endured the cross scorning in shame and now he is seated at the right hand of god ile furaha alikuwa anaiona alifikia praise the lord na baku on fighting on your destiny you need to start on the promises. Jeremiah 29:11. Very simple. Jeremiah 29:11. This is what the Bible says. Jeremiah 29:11. The Bible says, "For I know the plans I have for you." You start by the promises of God. The Bible says, you know, it declares the Lord to prosper you. To prosper. Hakuna mtu Mungu anapeleka kesho kakuwa maskini. You possess that. Start on the promises. You are waiting for your destiny. Kwanza ya roho yako ni jeni. Chukua fomu ni Jesus day. Amen. 
love. The Bible says in the book of Acts, chapter 17, and verse 30. Thank you. 